welcome to our channel sankalp study success so in this video today we are going to learn about chinese reminder theorem so let us see what is exactly chinese reminder theorem is here the chinese reminder theorem states that the linear system of congruencies the they are of the form x is equals to ai mod mi that means where the module are pairwise relatively prime that means what m1 m2 m3 and so on up to m i i may be any integer or you can consider as mn these are pairwise relatively prime okay all these m1 m2 m3 are pairwise relatively prime and this i value lies between 1 less than or equal to i less than or equals to k so it has a unique solution and you can also state in this way also which is if m1 m2 m3 and so on m r be non-zero integers and they are pairwise relatively prime here this they should be pairwise relatively prime actually if they are not uh, pairwise relatively prime then you have to convert them in that format so if these are non-zero integers and pairwise relatively prime then for any integers a1 a2 a3 and so on up to ar there are system of congruency such as xi is congruent to ai mod m1 xi is congruent to a2 mod m2 and so on up to x is congruent to ar mod mr that means if you substitute one here then again for the second equation you are substituting two in the second equation third equation you are substituting three and so on like that you will get all these equations so this will have a solution when if x naught is one solution then x is equals to x naught mod m1 m2 and so on up to mr okay this is this is the chinese reminder theorem which is you are having the equations which are of this form and m1 m2 m3 and so on up to mr they are pairwise relatively prime and they are non-zero integers so let us solve some of the problems on chinese reminder theorem so that you will be knowing exactly what is it and how to solve it right here goes the first problem which is system of congruences are given for us which is x is congruent to 2 mod 3 x is congruent to 3 mod 5 x is congruent to 2 mod 7 here so we are having the values of m1 m2 and m3 because there are only three equations we will have only three values m1 value is 3 m2 value is 5 and m3 value is 7 now let us find out what is the value of capital m that is m1 into m2 into m3 that is 3 into 5 into 7 what is the value of 3 into 5 into 7 3 5 so is 15 15 7 so is the, uh, 105 right 15 7 so is 105 now we have got the value of capital capital m now let us find capital m1 which is m by m1 m by m2 and capital m which is sorry m3 which is capital m by m3 now 105 by m1 is 3 this is 105 by 5 this one 105 by 7 what are the values of 105 by 3 105 by 5 and 105 by 7 this is now this is 35 this is 21 and 105 by 7 is 15 right yeah this is 15 so we got m1 m2 and also m3 values now the linear congruency is become so let us see here now linear congruency is become let us write here m1 y1 is equals to 1 mod 3 okay how can you write it what is the value of m1 m1 value is 35 here so 35 y1 is equals to 1 mod 3 right which is congruent to sorry so here 
एम टू वाई टू इज इक्वल्स टू वन मॉड फाइव तो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एम टू लेट सी ट्वेंट दैट इज ट्वेंटी वन सो ट्वेंटी वन वाई टू इज कॉन्ग्रोएन टू वन मॉड फाइव एंड हियर एम थ्री वाई थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू वन मॉड सेवन एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एम थ्री विच इज फिफ्टीन सो फिफ्टीन वाई थ्री इज कॉन्ग्रोएन टू वन मॉड सेवन so now you have to find out y1 y2 y3 values in such a way that they satisfy the equation so by trial and error method if you find out y1 y2 and y3 you will get it as minus 1 1 and 1 these are the values y1 y2 and y3 respectively so the solution for x it will become a1 m1 y1 plus a2 m2 y2 plus a3 m3 y3 which is the formula you have to substitute all the values what is a1 here this is a1 this is a2 and this is a3 right okay so 2 into m1 value is 35 and y1 is minus 1 plus a2 what is a2 3 3 into 21 into 1 less. What is a3 again? 2. 2 into 15 into 1. So 35 two size 70. So that is minus 70 less 63 less 30. Correct. So this value is nothing but 23, right? This is 23. so we got x value as 23 now you can represent therefore the general solution is the general solution is x is equals to 23 plus 105 k okay where this k is belongs to integers so 23 is the x value 23 plus 105k 105 is nothing but oh where is this one went so this is 105 <laughs> so 103 plus 105k this is the answer so uh, now you have got it how to find out the solution for this right that means this m1 m2 and m3 should be relatively pair wise relatively prime they are prime numbers so they are pair wise relatively prime okay you are going to write m1 m2 and m3 values and if you multiply those values you will get capital m value so 105 is a capital m so you have to find out m1 m2 and m3 values by dividing capital m with their respective m1 m2 and m3 values so that you will get all the three values now you are going to find m1 y1 m2 y2 and m3 y3 from these equations you will find y1 y2 and y3 values so that you will get from trial or an error method you got y1 is equals to minus 1 y2 is equals to 1 and y3 is equals to 1 so from this equation you can find out the x value So the general solution will become x is equals to twenty three plus one out five k. So we had a small recap so that you can understand the problem. So now let us solve one more problem so that you will become much more clear. Now see here, m one, m two, and m three are relatively prime, correct? Three, five, and seven. So let us write those values. M one is equals to three. M two is equals to five and M three is equals to seven. So now let us find out the capital M value, which is M one into M two into M three, right? Which is three into five into seven, which is nothing but one out five again. Same as the previous problem. So let us find out capital M one value, capital M two value, and capital M three value. Which is capital M by small m one. So now here one out five by small m one is three. Here one out five by five. 
here 105 by 7 you will get here 35 and 105 by 5 is 21 and this is 15 so you got all the m1 m2 and m3 values here so now you have to find out capital m1 y1 is equals to what is capital m1 y1 1 mod m1 what is m1 here it is 3 1 mod 3 what is capital m1 here 35 35 y1 is equals to 1 mod 3 now coming to m2 y2 is equals to 1 mod 5 right and what is m2 value which is 21 is congruent to 1 mod 5 yeah this is congruent right which is not equals to and now m3 y3 is equals to 1 mod 3 again sorry 1 mod 7 right yeah it is 1 mod 7 now m3 value is 15 15 y3 is congruent to 1 mod 7 so now you got all the linear congruencies right so now from from these you have to find out y1 y2 and y3 from trial and error method so that you can substitute in this formula a1 m1 y1 plus a2 m2 y2 plus a3 m3 and y3 so from here what are y1 y2 and y3 values so here 1 2 3 are a1 a2 a3 let us write 1 2 and 3 are as a1 a2 a3 values and here you we will write uh, y1 value as y you, if you solve these equations you will get y1 value as 2 y2 value as 1 and y3 value as 1 so by substituting all the values in this equation and 2 plus 2 into 21 into 1 plus 3 uh, what is the m3 value it is 15 right which is 15 into 1 so now what is the x value you will get the x value as 52 so therefore the general solution is 52 plus 105k where comma k belongs to integers so this is the general solution which we got so this is the problem so that for first step you have to find out the m1 m2 and m3 values from the given equation you have to multiply all those values so that you will get capital m and then you have to find out m1 m2 and m3 values then you have to find out the equations and if you solve them you will get y1 y2 and y3 by trial and error method and then if you you will find out the general solution which is nothing but x so this is the second problem and this is the one more problem which we have of the same model you can also try it let's also solve it together this is 3 4 and 5 they are relatively pairwise relatively prime right so let us write the values of m1 which is 3 m2 which is 4 and m3 which is 5 okay so let us find out the capital m value which is 3 into 4 into 5 okay 4 5 size is nothing but 20 and this is nothing but 60 right 3 into 20 is 60 again so we got capital m now let us find out m1 m2 and m3 values So these are the formulas right capital M1 is equals to M by M1 and M by M2 and M by M3 which is nothing but 60 by 3 20 right now 60 by 4 this is 15 then 60 by 5 which is 12 correct so we got 20 15 and 12 now let us write the linear congruencies which is m1 y1 is equals to 1 mod 3 then here m2 y2 is equals to 1 mod 4 
So what are m1 and m2 values? Which is 20 y1 is equals to 1 mod 3. Similarly, here is 15 y2 is equals to 1 mod 4. And again, there is one more equation m3 y3 which is congruent to sorry this is not equal to this is congruent 1 mod 5 m3 value is 12 12 y3 is congruent to 1 mod 5 so from trial and error method you have to find out by solving these equations y1 y2 and y3 values which are nothing but you will get it as y1 is equals to 2, y2 is equals to 3 and y3 is equals to 3. So now, what is the general solution of x a1 m1 y1 plus a2 m2 y2 plus a3 m3 y3. So, if you substitute all these values, what are the values of a1, a2 and a3? 1, 2 and 3. So here 1 into m1 is 20 and y1 is 2 plus 2 into 15 into 3 plus 3 into 12 into 3 now if you multiply this complete equation you will get the value as 58 so therefore general solution is General solution will become x is equals to 58 plus what is the value which we got here? 60. 58 plus 60k where k belongs to integers. Okay. So hope you understand the all the problems. So now you can also try these two questions so that you will become much more clear with the Chinese reminder theorem concept. So thank you for watching the video. Let's meet in the next video.